was right. No, the water will only be shut off for four hours. On Friday. Yes, okay. Thank you for your patience. Okay, bye. Hey, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I'm doing great, Arnold. Thanks, yes, I know. It's been a while. We've, we've been so busy. That's a good thing. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. Very, very good thing. Uh, yeah, very good. So, Arnold, there's something that I've been wanting to discuss with you. My partner, Sam, and I decided it is time to expand, and we found a fantastic opportunity, a new office space over on a, a prospect. And so we... <laughs> we, we jumped on it, because, <laughs> and so we're moving, uh, but we just, we love your building, and you've always been so, so good to us, but we have been wanting to move into something larger and a little more exclusive for a while now. Arnold. Uh, anyway, we found a great replacement tenant. Um, as you know, our lease requires us to obtain your consent to a replacement tenant. In fact, I, you know, have it here. Uh, 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 a tenant must obtain the prior written consent of landlord to any assignment, sublease, or transfer of the lease. I'm aware of what the lease says. Okay. Well, well, great. So on behalf of the law firm of Diamond and Jewel, we are thrilled to tell you that we plan to sign the lease to Sal Scaduto. And he has a fantastic practice and a real family guy, you know, modest, down to earth, and you'll, you know, you'll just love him. And, and happens to be waiting right outside in your reception area. W would, would you like me to go get him? He's waiting outside. Sure, bring him in. Okay. One sec. Arnold, Sal Scaduto. <laughs> a pleasure to meet you, sir. Welcome. Please have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, you know, I I'll leave you two to talk, and uh, I'll be right outside if you need me. Yeah, thanks, Tiff. Yes, okay. Thank you, Tiffany. <laughs> so, uh, what type of work do you do? Oh, a lot of litigation. Though I rarely go to trial. You know, I settle most everything. What types of cases? To be honest, I do a lot of drug cases. Pretty much my meat and potatoes. I see. You know, you look familiar. Have we met before? I don't think so. I would remember you. Don't you do those whatever the crime, you won't do time commercials? <laughs> yeah. Those have been hugely successful. I got them running constantly on TV. And we even have uh, radio versions, too. Interesting. Listen, uh, Arnold, you seem like a good uh, and sensible guy. So, here is a copy of my bank statement, and here is report of revenues for last year. And as you can see, I will make enough to pay the $5,000 a month rent here. It is $5,000, right? That's correct. Is that negotiable? No. That's fine. You sure? Oh, okay. $5,000. No problem. So, do you mind if I talk to Tiffany alone for a minute? Not at all. <laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Not, not at all. Oh, no, 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 no. You can keep those. No way. No what? effing way is that guy moving into my building. He's dirty. He tells me he does good business, but I know he's connected to the mob. I've seen him before. Of course you have. He does those commercials. No, I've seen him on the news. Every time one of those gusters gets in trouble, he's up there using statements. I'm pretty sure he has also been mentioned from time to time as person of interest in murder investigations. No way not happening. Okay. Look, Arnold, Sal can and will pay his rent. He will be a good tenant. He will 
pay on time, live in his office quietly. You have nothing to worry about. Look, there's no reason why a visitor to this building will even know the kind of business that he does. He won't have his, his picture on the office door or anything. He'll just come and go, just like all the other tenants. I mean, you don't collect percentage rent here. This is not a retail mall. You get your rent. I don't care. I don't want him near. I don't want his clients coming here. The answer is no. Tiffany, Tiffany.